Hi, Yarn of Bees. I was sitting here talking for five minutes and I wasn't even filming. <laughs> oh, it's been one of those days. Okay, um, let's start that again, shall we? Today is a health update. I <clears throat> talked to my family doctor. I haven't talked to my specialist yet because she's going on holidays and she's waiting for me to get a scan done <clears throat> um, on the 13th. So I think it's a contrast um, scan, whatever, to check out my hiatus hernia. <clears throat> um, I couldn't figure out why she was doing that, but now I know. Um, my doctor, yesterday was a bad night. I was feeling like I couldn't breathe. <clears throat> it just feels like somebody's choking me, like somebody's got their fingers here and they're pushing. <clears throat> um, and you guys probably have noticed on my videos as of, well, since Christmas anyway, that I have been doing a lot of hemming <clears throat> and a lot of coughing and a lot of, you know, um, like my throat. I You can probably tell I'm froggy right now. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> last night I almost went to emergency. I was pretty scared and I was like going like, what is happening? Like I'm sitting there, I'm pulling at the this the skin of my throat just trying to get some air <clears throat> you know I, I just it was not nice it's and it seems to prog progress towards the evening first thing in the morning I feel pretty good and then as the day goes on um, <clears throat> I start feeling worse so <clears throat> anyway um so the doctor, my family doctor, gave me a little more insight as to what is going on. <laughs> uh, a lot of you have been asking me how I'm doing, what's happening. <clears throat> so I felt it was only fair that I let you know, even though it's my private, personal stuff. Um, I feel like you guys are my family. And I'd like to know if this is happening to you so that you can talk to me, <laughs> talk me off the ledge because I'm freaking out a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, so he was saying stuff that I was just kind of like chronic this, chronic that, and I was just like kind of zoned out a little bit. <clears throat> um. But then he said that with the biopsies that they did and everything, they found that I have what's called Barrett's esophagus. <clears throat> Whoever the hell Barrett is, I'd like to punch him in the head. Like, <laughs> give me back my esophagus. <laughs> Um, I started doing some research on it after I talked to him, after I cried a lot. Um, I, I had a video chat with my friends and my family. And, yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, my doctor said, um, what I'm feeling here is... <clears throat> There's a sphincter here and it's it's contracting and it's in spasm. So <clears throat> he's upped my dose. I, I take uh, Nexium, but it's a prescription Nexium. He's upped my dose to two pills a day. And he's also given me a new medication that we're hoping is going to stop this <clears throat> this progress and stuff so um and he said that 
I have to get uh, scans like the scope. <laughs> you guys know how much I loved getting that scope. Well, now I've got to get it <clears throat> once or twice a year um, to keep an eye on what's happening because <clears throat> this can cause throat cancer. Um, so I'm going to read this to you. This is, I found this on WebMD and it kind of explains uh, a little bit about this. It says Barrett's esophagus is a potentially serious complication of GERDs, which is the acid reflux that I have, which stands for <clears throat> gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, in Barrett's esophagus, normal tissue lining of the esophagus <clears throat> changes to tissue that resembles the lining of your intestine. Uh, about 10% of people with chronic symptoms of GERDs develop Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's esophagus does not have any specific symptoms Although patients with Barrett's esophagus may have symptoms related to GERDs, it does, though, increase the risk of developing esophageal uh, endocarcinoma, which is a serious, potentially fatal cancer in the esophagus. Although the risk of this cancer is high in people with Barrett's esophagus, the disease is still rare. <clears throat> Less than 1% of people with Barrett's esophagus develop this particular cancer. Nevertheless, if you have been diagnosed with Barrett's esophagus, it's important to have routine examinations of your esophagus. <clears throat> with routine examinations, your doctor can discover precancerous and cancer cells early before they spread and when it, when the disease is easier to treat. Um, I'm not going to get into all the other stuff. Um, you can look it up if you want. It's B-A-R-R-E-T-T-S <clears throat> esophagus. Um, he also told me that that esophageal webbing that they thought I had, I don't have that. <laughs> now I'm wishing that I had that and not what I have. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to know if any of you have it, uh, and tell me, email me at crochet Canada at gmail.com tell me your story um because i could i could really use some support um i could really use some good news and um yeah <laughs> so um for any of my further videos uh i i will ap apologize in advance for any frogginess or any coughing or any of that stuff that i have going on um it's not something i can control <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> but I'm going to think positive and I'm not going to try, try not to panic <clears throat> until I've heard from my surgeon and get her input as to where we go from here. So, yeah.
<clears throat> um, I don't even know what else to say. Uh, <clears throat> so anyways, as always, I love you all very, very much. I thank you for all being my friends, for, be, for being my friend. I, I don't know how I could get through all the crap that I go through without your comments. Hearing you guys talking to me um, and commenting means the world. Even though, like, although I don't comment back a lot, I do heart all of my comments that I get to let you know that I've read them. And, um, yeah. Anyway. Okay, I guess I'm going to go. I finished a baby sweater. <clears throat> I'm working on another one that is my own design. So um, I'll show that to you when I'm finished. Although I did run out of yarn. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out something else for the for the arms or something, but... Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Mm -hmm.